They're officially married. Ravenna is the official queen of Windenburg. We'll say they are trying for a baby, but they're not actually. Well, like, no, they are. But in The Sims, they're not. I don't know if that just made sense. and welcome back to another episode of the history of Windenburg. So this episode is going to be a little bit more, I guess, laid back. Like I'm not going to talk through as much story stuff. I'm just gonna play. And right now we have Ravenna. So I did officially move her into, into Vlad's mansion um, just because we were always here. And I was like, I guess she would be allowed to stay here. Um, so right now I have her studying some vampire stuff and then Vlad, Oh no, don't woohoo. I saw this thing on here that said that they could discuss evil plans. I'm assuming that is in friendly interactions, but I don't see it right now. But I got excited when I saw it and I was like, they can discuss their evil plans. But the goal of this episode is to have Ravenna marry King Henry. So it is going to all happen pretty fast. I mean, there's like so much other story stuff to happen after they're married. So I figure we might as well just go ahead and start this. You guys saw the last episode. We did have Ravenna kill Queen Caroline. I did actually change it because death by drowning was not an option on MC Command Center. So I did lightning in the video, but then her tomb thing didn't show up when I had killed her. So I had to like revive her back. I, like I went into the household of King Henry's and I had to revive her. And then I just put her in the pool and I like lowered all her needs. So she like actually had her death by drowning now it says. So we'll say that they've had like their funeral for her. I think King Henry, we should probably go visit. Like they would have had a official funeral, but I will just like show that when I do the machinima of this. So I did say that the end goal of this series is to have a machinima to do like more of the storytelling stuff. So I'm gonna have her go to Windenburg. It's sunny in Forgotten Hollow right now, so I have to be careful. I really don't want her to die in the sunlight. That is how she ends up dying though. I know I'm like telling you guys all this, but it's because I've already said it and mentioned it before in my my either royal family episodes or like other videos. So some of you guys know anyway, so I figured I might as well get everybody caught up if they didn't know. Okay, so we're now at the Windenburg Castle and yeah, King Henry is sad. His wife just passed away. We'll say that, um, okay, well, how do I try to cheer him up? But we'll say that they had the funeral and Ravenna tried, why is she, oh, okay, she has this umbrella, I don't know why. But we'll say that she tried to cheer him up at the, oh, they just kissed each other on the cheek. But she tried to cheer him up at the funeral. I mean, they've like already had a romantic relationship for a while. They, they still have a high one. I mean, even though we had mistresses, I think he was still sad about his wife dying. So the goal here is to get Ravenna to cheer him up. Maybe we should go inside because if it does get sunny, it's gonna be dangerous for her. So I don't know, where do you guys wanna sit? Maybe just at the dining hall. We'll have them go sit there. I don't know why she keeps bringing out this umbrella. But yeah, we'll say that it's been a few days since Caroline's death. They had her funeral. Ravenna is still trying to cheer him up. But the thing is because King Henry really wants kids, he wants heirs. And I think like, cause Ravenna knows that, I think she would tell him, you know, like you should probably get married soon because especially like back then they didn't live as long. So I think that's like her way of convincing him or trying to convince him anyway. Also, I know these outfits are like all from different time periods. I'll try to get more accurate clothing when I do the machinima. So he's feeling energized now. He's not not feeling sad anymore. That was actually quick. I was expecting it to take longer than that. Maybe she should start flirting with him. I wish you could get, oh, ask to be boyfriend. I mean, they're already seeing each other. I doubt back then they were like, hey, do you want to be my boyfriend? But, oh, no, 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 come back. Wait, she was going to ask him. I'm gonna have her ask him anyway. But since he is the king, he would have to be the one to propose to her. But since I'm only playing from her household, I could probably move her in. But actually, no, you know what? When they, st they're like barely talking to each other. When they start to have more, like when the relationship bar for romantic is completely up, I'm just gonna have her join the household. Oh, they just took a selfie. Um, but I'll have her join the household. Then I am gonna have him propose 
it's just because like as the king, like as the monarch, they're supposed to propose. In my royal family series, I did an exception only because I don't want to spoil anything. But yeah, I had one exception in my royal family series where a monarch was proposed to, but only because they were technically already engaged. I don't think that spoils too much. That should be fine. Also, so there is a royalty mod if you did not know. I've been playing my royal family series way before the royalty mod came out, but the royalty mod allows you to have titles. I have a royalty mod review on my channel. So if you have not seen it yet and want to download it, I didn't reinstall it yet. I was waiting for a new update to come out and it did. I just haven't, but I did download. They have these like dragon armchairs that look like medieval thrones and I thought it was really cool. So I did download that at least. Okay, so let's have you be romantic again, caress cheek. Yeah, this might be a pretty, oh, was that a rat? <gasps> Wait, I've never seen that before. Interesting, okay, sorry, I thought that was cool. Or maybe it came with City Living, I don't know. And then I do think that if this would make sense, maybe King Henry, yeah, you guys can let me know what you think too, cause I might put this in the machinima, but maybe King Henry is like hesitant to remarry, like he wants kids. So like he wants to get married and he wants to try for more kids soon, but maybe just because it's like so soon after Caroline died, he would be hesitant. But maybe Ravenna, because I've talked before how she uses the like mind control thing, how she's been practicing that and Vlad has been teaching her how to do it just because I think that would be one of the powers she has as a vampire. So maybe that is a way for her to try to convince him more, like at least to get married soon because she wants to like get her revenge plan on a roll already. That rat is just, I, I keep getting distracted by that. Anyway, okay, but their romantic relationship is completely full. So, so is that asking to join our household or asking to join his household? I guess we'll find out. Uh, move in together. Okay, okay, I can choose. So, all right. All right, Ravenna's moving in to the palace with King Henry. She will consistently go back to see Vlad so they can talk about their plan and stuff. So she will do that. And I'm sure she'll just lie and say she's, I don't know, going on a walk or something. I don't know. All right, but now Ravenna's living at the castle. So yeah, maybe Ravenna, um, I don't know. I feel like there should be a bit more of a romantic spot to do this. I was gonna say maybe at the beach because that's where they've talked the most, but that's also where his wife died. So I don't know. What about like just right here? Why don't both of you go here? Okay, cool. We're at like the top of the castle now. So we'll say she's using, okay, so I know for blow a kiss that interaction has like those pink little clouds where like a kiss is passing to him. We can pretend that's like her magical powers. I don't know. Cause I'm gonna have to figure out a way to do that for the machinima and I might just do that. I typically use animations like not from the Sims for my machinimas just because I think that the ones in the Sims are a little bit, I guess like overdone or like over dramatized, but I might just end up using some for this machinima. But yeah, maybe she's just convinced him. Okay, profess undying love. Maybe she's just convinced him to propose. So they're Having an armor's exchange. Is that the most? Like, is that? No, I, I kind of want them both to feel flirty. All right, so now it's a steamy exchange. Ravenna's feeling flirty, and I, Henry's the one proposing to her, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal that he's not feeling flirty. I think that, oh, oh no, now he's feeling very flirty. Okay, cool. So we're gonna have him propose, and they're gonna get married like the next day. So it's definitely gonna be a quick thing that happens. All right, he's proposing, yay. Yes, she said yes. All right, they're engaged. The wedding's gonna be like tomorrow. I don't think it would be a big one. Like, I don't think one, Ravenna needs a big wedding. She's marrying him for different reasons than to actually, oh, okay, the romantic relationship just went down. But she's not marrying him to like have a wedding and because she's in love with him. So I don't think she cares if it's a small wedding. Oh, and then maybe the people of Windenburg are like very against him marrying again. Like maybe he announces it, but they love Queen Caroline so much. So maybe they like just don't like Ravenna and and then like, I think that eventually when Ravenna gets better at like the mind control thing, then maybe she can put the whole kingdom under a spell. So like no one ever tries to deceive her and everyone trusts her and like her. But I think she needs a little bit more time before she gets to that. So yeah, maybe they would just have a small wedding cause like not a lot of people wanted to attend. Okay, but I'm gonna get them ready for the wedding and we're gonna go ahead and do that. And I'll show you their outfits that I picked and stuff. Okay, so I've downloaded the lot that I wanna have the wedding at. This is called Medieval Church. Yeah, Medieval Church by EHA. 
A-U-G-H-T 58. I just downloaded this from the gallery. I think this is a good place for them to have the wedding. And now we're gonna plan a social event. So I have a few random Sims that I just Oh, okay, got a rando here too. But yeah, I have a few random Sims that I have in the world that I've dressed in appropriate outfits, not just like modern outfits. So they're gonna be the ones that I invite. Not gonna invite like Vlad or anything. He's not coming to the wedding, but I'm sure Ravenna has told him like, okay, plan's going well. I'm gonna marry the king. Huh, I thought I had one more guy on here, but uh, I can't seem to find him. I forgot what his name was. Well. That's fine, I guess. I don't think it matters too much. Okay, I got like three people coming. So this is the wedding dress I have for her. I will link it below if you wanna download it. It is called Anne Boleyn's dress. And then this is the best I could do for the king. They had just like a lot going on with his outfit. That was the closest thing I could find. Hopefully I can find something better when we do the machinima. We have our first guest here. There's supposed to be two more ladies coming. Okay, all three guests, <laughs> all three guests are now here. So let's. Go Go ahead and have them get married. This is really cool. It's a little bit smaller, but that's okay. It has everything we need. It's set up the way that I imagined. We got our wedding arch here, so let's just get married. Okay, so they're now getting married. I would say it's probably only been like a week since Queen Caroline passed away, which I think is going to make like the people of Windenburg really not like Ravenna that much until she uses her powers to put them under like the whole spell thing. But yeah, so when they get married, she's gonna be queen and she can start continuing all her evil plans. So she does need to start having kids with King Henry, but while she's doing that. Um, so like over the years, she's going to be trying to get all of the staff and all the important people on her side. She'll be trying to strengthen her vampire powers. So she'll be like super powerful in a few years when they have kids. And like after she feels like they've had enough kids to where she can kill King Henry and be the one in power. All right, wedding ring time, yay. Okay, they're officially married. Ravenna is the official queen of Windenburg. She's living here at the palace or the castle already, but yay, okay, so they got married. I was gonna say that they would just maybe start already trying to have kids, but here's the thing. So I'll let you guys know, some people were already asking about this because on my family tree in my royal family, the kids that Ravenna have is not from King Henry. They're from a man named Arthur. Um, all right, we got some randos here. I'm actually gonna just, <laughs> I know this is like nothing happened. We didn't have music or cake or anything. Or Oh, actually, oh, hey, there's uh, food and dancing and stuff down here. Okay, I get, you know what? We have like Judith Ward here. There's a lot of people here. Let's just have them dance together. We can have them slow dance. Okay, so they are slow dancing now. This is the slow dancing mod by Sacrificial Mods, by the way. But while they're doing that, I will explain. So we're gonna say that they're gonna go home and try for a baby. But the thing is, because you guys know, Henry and Caroline had trouble trying for kids. So it was actually because of King Henry. So he's the one that's infertile. And when Ravenna figures that out, she's gonna have to try to find a way to still have kids because I think he would blame it on her. Like, I think he was blaming her on Caroline, which is horrible, but I just think that's what he did. Also his hands like going through her dress, that's fine. But yeah, so they're dancing. This one guest is dancing, she's having fun. All right, so I'm gonna end this wedding. I'm gonna have them go home now and try for a baby. Okay, we're home. They're both still in their wedding attire. I love it. I think that looks really good. Actually, maybe his outfit does work. I don't know, I'll have to look it up. It looks kind of similar to what I've seen. Okay, but now we're going to have them try for a baby. Try for baby. Yep. Oh, they can't even get to the bed. I don't even know if there's a reason why I'm doing this. I think it's just to show that they have tried for a baby. I think there's a way to set the percentage in MC Command Center to make it unlikely. Because if I say that he can't get any Sims pregnant in Create a Sim, I just won't have the option to try for a baby. So maybe I should just do that. So then it would just be a woohoo, like a regular woohoo. No try for baby option. Yeah, okay, let's do that. We'll say they are trying for a baby, but they're not actually. Well, like, no, they are, but in The Sims, they're not. I don't know if that just made sense. Okay, so they're gonna go woohoo. We'll say this is them trying for a baby. I don't think you guys need to see the rest of this. Oh, I should probably change her pajamas to like a nightgown or something. We'll probably give her like a full on wardrobe now, like a royal wardrobe since she's queen. So I think some of her other outfits, they're just random generated outfits, or some of them might still be a little bit more of like a, like a commoner's dress sort of look. But yeah, really the whole point of this is just that they have woohooed. But I will explain more of the whole trying for the baby thing in the next episode because 
by the next episode, it's going to be them having to have kept trying for a baby. Like it will have been a while, probably several months or so will have passed. And then they're just both gonna be frustrated. King Henry will probably start blaming her for them not getting pregnant. This is very much like King Henry VIII blaming Anne Boleyn when they weren't able to have a baby at first because she like made him get a divorce and then like said she would give him heirs. So yeah, that's kind of what I picture it being along the lines of. But then you guys will learn who Arthur is in the next episode and I'm excited for you guys too. I do think I'm gonna end this episode here. But they are now married. Ravenna is now the queen of Windenburg. We'll see all the stuff she does in the next episode. So let me know your thoughts on Ravenna's plan. It's super exciting now that she's the queen. She's gonna start getting her revenge. So you guys will see that in the next episode. Let me know if you're excited to learn who Arthur is and if you have any theories. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.